Nick wouldn't give me a light behind me today. But it's okay. He saves the light for himself. Bastard. Three, two, one, throw. everybody, my name is Michael Lee Murphy. I'm one half of the Brothers Murphy and it's time for a Metagame Minute, a weekly segment where we talk about something about board games that's been on our brain. And today, I wanna to talk about something that's really cool that some friends of mine do. I probably will never steal it, but I think it's great when they do it. And this is, they have a little thing that they do where at game nights, if you're playing someone's copy of a game, whoever wins that game gets to write their name and the date on the inside of the box. Talking about in the lid, like right here, they'll go boom, and there will be kind of a history of who won amongst that game group on the insides, the lids of the boxes. I think that is so cool. I love that idea. A lot of us out there track our board game plays, and believe me, this group does that as well, big time. But we all track our plays. But I think it's really neat to have kind of a physical ledger of who played or who won games in the history of kind of this particular game's existence. So it's not just the, the, the night cage, but it's specifically my copy of the night cage. How have I done or how have other people done as we played this? I think it's a really neat way to kind of like celebrate your group and the plays that you've all done um, by sort of keeping track of who's won. I've gotten a chance to put my name in the lids of other people's games. I've had people, you know, uh, write their names in other people's games. I haven't like brought many of my games, but I would think I would, if I was at that group, like have them write in the, the lid of my games as well. Cause it's kind of a cool, like you open up, you look at it and you're like, ah, that was awesome. You know what I mean? It's another nice way to remember. I kind of like the analog nature of it. I think it's really cool to think of if you had a game for a long time and then eventually gave it away to somebody or sent it to a library or Goodwill or something, that there would be this kind of cool, again, ledger, this, this, this remembrance of who's played the game and, and on what days and things like that. I think it's cool. I think I'd be more moved by like opening it up and looking at the lid of the box and saying like, oh man, that was cool. Versus with my stats app, I'm not going back to look at specific plays personally. It's just not how I deal with the, my tracker. I just like to get an overall view of what I played for work purposes and things like that. But I think it's something that's really neat. So I wanted to shout out uh, my friends, the Ventura kind of gaming group, um, and say that's a really neat thing that they do that I would love to see more of. So I'm just curious, have you ever done something like that? Do you have like a slip of paper? Do you have anything other than like maybe a board game tracking app, a way to kind of keep track of who did what within your game group? I think the writing on the inside of the lid is cool. It's kind of like pink slips to cards. You get some ownership over it. It's like, that's your game, but I destroy you in that game. I own you at that game, even though it's yours. I think it's kind of neat. You know, you get into the little bit of rivalry between your friends and stuff. I think it's really cool. So I wanted to shout it out, say that's a great idea. I hope to see more of it. I haven't done it myself, because it'd just be my name or Nick a bunch. And I think it's kind of cooler with a game group setting. But uh, maybe if I bring games to that game group, I can start getting the habit of having them right into my boxes so that I get uh, a, a record of what happened with this box. Uh, that's all I got for you this time. I just wanna know, do you write on the lids of boxes? Do you keep some sort of record other than a digital one of how things have gone at your game night and what, what has happened with specific games you own? Let me know in the comments below. And just remember that whether or not you only keep stats uh, digitally, you only write down things, you chisel it in a rock, you write with people's blood, they put their thumbprint in, whatever. The more meta, the more better. Thanks so much for watching another Meta Game Minute. If you want to see Nick's Meta Game Minute from last week, it's going to be right over there. If you want to see another Brothers Murph video, it's going to be just down the way. Make sure you subscribe, turn the bell on so you get notifications for our videos. And if you wouldn't mind helping us out, check out our Patreon and support.